everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. I'm your host, Michael Tabor. So getting right into this and talk a little talk about my mission statement here. Uh, I am an older guy, okay? I'm actually a baby boomer. I'm not going to give out my age because I've been advised to not do that. They don't, people don't want to be listening to some old fuck. Listen, there are a lot of people my age are on the internet who are cool, you know, Gen X, but I'm actually a, a baby boomer. Oh, uh oh. Okay. So I was born in 1963. Okay. I don't care. So anyway, um, I'm just really having fun here. So I'm semi-retired. I live out in the Catskills. My wife and I built a log cabin here. It took about two years and we moved here January 28th of this year, 2019. So it, we're just loving it. We have five acres and it's absolutely gorgeous. But there's always a but. I have some serious health issues and uh, none of this means a damn thing if you don't have your health. So anyway, my topic of discussion. Well, let me just continue on here. Why I started doing this. Um, for the longest time, really like decades, people have been telling me like, oh, you have a broadcaster's voice. You have um, a lot of interesting things to say. You're really well read. You know a lot. You have, I've been told I have this photographic memory. So not only do I read a lot of books, I I um, I could recall. My recall is excellent. I process about 90% of what I read and synthesize it really quickly, more than the average person. So I'm almost like a uh, I don't want it sounds like I'm bragging, but I'm not. It's just I'm just very fortunate in that regard. I'm kind of like a walking encyclopedia and I have a million interests, like like and it's all over the place. You know, I, I like uh, all sports, mostly fighting UFC. Um, I'm really interested in music, all types of music, rock music, classical, jazz, blues, everything. Um, and I've been playing guitar for close to 40 years now. Um, so I have that. I'm interested in politics. I love philosophy and psychology and business and just like a lot of a lot of different things. And, and the, the real key is that I've had a, a crazy, crazy weird life. Now, we all have. If you really look back, you know, some lives are, I guess, more exciting and weird, whatever. Mine happens to be really... So, I figure, listen, I have the time. Let's do this and let's see what could happen. And maybe I could help people. So, going back, as I said, I have a very serious disease. And thank God it has not affect... Um, well, let me just tell you what I have. I have a neurological disorder. It's called... Now, it's a mouthful. It's idiopathic epidermal small fiber neuropathy. Now, idiopathic meaning that they don't know what the source is, why I have this, who knows. I started getting symptoms five years ago, uh, August, September of 2014. So, uh, fortunately, it has not affected cognitive function at all, right? That has, I'm actually better than ever. So, uh, but it's affect motor function and even fine motor skills. So I'll get into it a little bit more. Now, what I, what, what I, what prompted me to, to do this, this particular, um, uh, video recording and talk about it is, I, um, um, I'm, I listened to an old Tim Ferriss podcast back from 2014 and this young woman entrepreneur, Tracy Denunzio, let me show you a picture of her. She's worth, here you go, Tracy. She is worth over a hundred million dollars. Okay. So let me just go on her let me tell you about her business. Tracy, I should have had this set up, but that's okay. Tracy Denunzio. Here we are. Tracy Denunzio. Her name is her. Let's search for it. Oh, it's not coming up. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I could probably try again. Well, as I wish I had an assistant who could just bring it up and put it on the screen. But anyway, uh, Tim Ferriss was asking Tracy, like, wow, you are this incredibly successful young woman. I think she just turned 40. And she has all these companies, and she started from nothing. And now she's worth over $100 million, okay? And it's like, 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 what was your drive? How did you become Tracy Denunzio? And she goes, 
The most important thing, a curse and a blessing, was I was born with this horrible genetic disorder. And it's called, let me bring, now I have this up, spina bifida. Okay, you see that? Okay, and if you could read that, it's a birth defect in which a developing baby's spinal cord fails to develop properly. So she has a lot of neurological issues, like me. Okay, so she can't feel her feet. Now, why was this a curse and a blessing? By the way, again, she almost died. I didn't think she was going to make it. She was going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life and all this. So, so why was that important in her life for her development? Why was that a key to her? Why was that key to her success having this horrible, horrible disease? Well, two things, and this is where I could relate. Number one, as a as a little girl. She was at, in, at, at the hospitals getting diagnostic tests, waiting in doctor's office, seeing scores of doctors over and over. A little kid, six, seven, eight years old, te even grade school, high school, you know. And the thing is, they didn't know anything. I'm not going to say they didn't know anything, but they were, it's a tough thing to say, clueless but let me explain when it comes to neurology we are in the stone ages we know next to nothing about cns which is central nervous system the brain and spinal cord cns spinal cord issues it's just like let me let me, let me say this okay the brain is estimated there are different estimates but something like 89 billion b 89 billion neurons right and you have the spinal cord and it's just it's so unbelievably complicated that despite deck years and years of medical school and training and all this we just don't know and none of the diseases any neurological disorder no cure all they could do is treat symptoms and pain so we're talking about, let's just talk about the monster, the horrifying diseases like ALS, amyotrophic, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, the worst thing that can happen to a human being. It's beyond words horrible. Um, uh, multiple sclerosis and muscular dystrophy. There are hundreds and hundreds of these horrible neurological disorders. And when you talk to these doctors, they don't know. They don't know. So what Tracy did was, fuck it, I got to think out of the box. And I got to do my own research because they're not going to save me. All they could do is give you pain. They could get you addicted to drugs, right? They did the same shit with me. They go, Mike, there's no cure for this. You have idiopathic epidermal small fiber neuropathy. They can't even give you a prognosis. Well, what's, what does that mean? Am I going to be crippled? I don't know. Like, is, like, I don't know. Can I feel like, I don't know. What, what can you help me? Give me, there's no cure. I could give you some gabapentin. Do you want that? So, okay. Like... Tracy, I had to think out of the box and I did all my own research and it's awesome now with the internet is that I can honestly say that I know more than most of my doctors and plus they don't really care. A lot of these doctors, I mean some do, let me, that's a sweeping generalization, but but my my the one guy from Columbia, this guy, I'm not going to mention names, he was awful. Just did not give a shit. Essentially, he was saying, it's not my problem, no cure. Do you want some gabapentin? And now I am uh, going for my, I actually have had my fourth stem cell treatment. I'm getting treatments in the city. I'm seeing a naturopath. And I'm doing all I can to save my life, right? That's what's going on. So going back, the comparison with me and Tracy Tracy Denunzio had this spina bifida, right? And she did all the research on her own. It's like, I know more than the doctors. And why did that help her in business? It's like, listen, we're just human beings. Yes, there are experts in certain fields of study. But let me just tell you this, people. We're all people. We're just trying to figure the shit out, right? Let me, let me throw you out this. Let me throw out this analogy, right? compare it to physics about human beings just like i don't look i don't put any one up on a pedestal like i have heroes and people i admire and love but they're just like you're just like me you're not better than like you're you may be an expert in a certain area but you're just a person just like me we know next to 
we well, I was going to say no next to nothing in the scheme of things. When you look at the big picture, that's true. Like, okay, so physics, right? Did you know that 95% of the, the universe is dark matter about which we know nothing? So we know some things about 5% of the universe. 95% of it, it's like, what? So here you go. So we're talking about physics and going back to medicine and doctors and especially neurology. They don't know what they're talking about. When I talk to doctors, there's a respect. There's a doctor-patient relationship and we discuss certain things, but we're in it together. Like my doctors know I'm a very informed patient. I And they kind of know, like you know more about this disorder than, than I do, honestly, you know. So you got to think for yourself, which is why, just like Tracy, thinking out of the box and saying, listen, man, nobody's better than me, or it's Tracy. No one's, listen, I have respect not to get arrogant or anything like that, but just this healthy confidence and like, hey, I got this horrible thing and this is driving me. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'll end it here. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk. So take that adversity and make it work for you.